But we're all back on the ship now, heading out of the river as we deal with the emotional, I think the way you put it was emotional trauma dump <laughs> that we had the last session. And uh, they are now headed into Melitus Bay. Players, what would you like to do? Um, I think heading into Melitus, um, we would just find a good place to dock, assess our... Uh, I think Vara would like to assess all of our rations, um, see if there's anything that we need to purchase while we're here um, before we potentially make some lengthy treks on foot to uh, help Adrastus figure out what he needs to know about the baby. So Vara would be mm -hmm. Vara would be checking stocks um, and just prepping to dock, making sure we have everything. Nice rhyme. Mm -hmm. I love that. Checking Ooh. stock, prepping to dock, prepping. Ah! <laughs> prepping. I'm prepping. <laughs> Get hold of that our captain. That's our captain <laughs> right there, guys. <laughs> prepping to dock. Uh. <laughs> That's me. As you enter the bay and, and make the turn northward around the, the horn of the area and make your way into Melitus uh, docking area, you see other ships are out. So definitely uh, some shipping has, has moved. There are a couple of wrecks that you see along the way, but they appear to be at least days old, if not maybe a couple of weeks old. Uh, nobody seems to be paying mind, and there's nobody going, help me, help me, flailing in the water, which is usually a good sign. Uh, as you pull into the dock, uh, you are waved in by someone who finds a good mooring for you. And they approach, and, uh, well, good to see you, Counselor. Oh. Um, is the Counselor on board? Oh, um, Hello. Captain Temporary of the, of the Dolphin, uh, we were given permission to use this vessel and would, would love to see the Council if possible. Oh. Uh, well, I, I heard he'd gone to Acro, so we thought he was... Um, anyway, uh, welcome, welcome, Captain Temporary. It's great to make your acquaintance. Um, please, uh, we'll, we'll tie you off here. Is there anything else we can do for you? How long will you be, uh, be docked here? Um... So, did we decide that we needed to travel by land for investigating I, the Sun Cloud baby, right? Yeah, we did, right? I think everywhere from here is land-based. Right, it's and we would, totally, okay. Yeah, it's totally a matter of choice to you guys. You hadn't really said what you were going to do. So. Okay. Oh, okay. I, I think we were thinking land. Um, yes, we were thinking land. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you're right. Um, you're right there, Tully. Got something in your throat? Oh, nothing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I believe we will now uh, leave the ship back to Elitus's decision. I guess he is out of town, as you stated. But um, yes, no, I, I think we don't plan on getting back on the dolphin anytime soon. We'll be, we'll be going on foot. This was just a, a temporary borrow. Right. Uh, you mentioned Councillor Elitus. This was actually Councillor Dracios's boat, I thought. Oh, Dracios. <laughs> you, 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 you do have permission to have this. We boat, do. Correct? Yes. Sorry. I names. I'm terrible with them. Um, we yes, met both no. of them at the same time, and they always seem to come as a pair whenever we're dealing with them. So sometimes you get the names mixed up. You yes. know, politicians. Well, to yes. be fair, Counselor Dracios also entrusted us with his bird. And I'll just point out, point the owl. That's like oh. on our inners. Oh. Wonderful. Oh. Okay. And we have Brian with us of Elitus. We've, we've, we've got a couple things from a couple council members. It's hard to keep track. <laughs> and she'll, she'll kind of point over to Prime. Well, as long as you as didn't you can see, we're very... take them, I guess. <laughs> well, would Bubo or Prime be with anybody they weren't given to? Uh, I honestly wouldn't know. Aha, there you go. We obviously know them better than you. Uh, thank you so much for your help. We're going to be off now. <laughs> the right, most supplies. confused harbor oh, master in all of Theros. <laughs> just, Correct. Just met yes. Captain Temporary. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Mm. And that is mm. what he will continue to know me by. <laughs> Goodbye. Yep. Uh, uh, was going to get all corrected, but he was just like, eh. nope. <laughs> no need. <laughs> if anything, it's a preference. <laughs> Uh, Prime and uh, Tikaros and Agrios will follow along. Uh, where are you headed in Melithus? I think um, rather than just immediately go to the council, Vara would pose that we should go to Elitus's house where we were originally staying for mm -hmm. lodging. Agreed. Yes. And see him, touch base with him first because uh, if we he's tend back. To, yeah. We tend to say things uh, in front of the council that he would prefer us not to say. So we should probably check in and see what, what? we should censor first. What? Us? <laughs> no. We're the picture of decorum. <laughs> Prime will agree and uh, we'll start walking that way, uh, trying to keep Chikorosa's attention on where she's walking and not just the child because uh, she seems to be very focused on this child. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. On the way, I'll just I'll just kind of note out of the things that we we kind of also need. It's just we probably want to have another wagon or something to to travel with. We shouldn't have all of our supplies on our backs the entire time. I'm I hope we could probably requisition something like that from from the oh, sure it wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, I'd, yeah, I'd agree, especially with the child. We don't want that just constantly exposed to the open. Yeah, I still. Are you I feel planning like to take the time child I'm... with you? Um, that's uh, for Drastos to decide. I think. Yes, Ariana. I was going to say I, I feel like it'll depend on how far abroad we are adventuring before that's finding true. information on where it belongs. Yes, I think that returning the child to its parents is paramount. I don't think that whoever this entity is, be they Aramaz or someone who has simply stolen his bands, I don't think they're going to get too much further. And the safety of this small cub is more important than my childhood I will, I will, I will do a reminder that the baby is a human baby. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Adrastos is not saying cub because it's Leon, okay. and Adrastos just is saying to make sure that, Just wanted to make sure there wasn't yeah. a confusion there. 100%, yeah. So. No, no, I, I, I get that. It's but yeah, for no. the viewers. <laughs> <laughs> no, yes, it I... was to make sure there wasn't any confusion. <laughs> no, no, Adrastos, Adrastos remembered. <laughs> Amazing. Well, um, oh, question. Uh, over... If, if for however much longer it took us to get into Melitus, occasionally Ariana was like testing um, her divine sense around every now and again, watching specifically for Celestial and Fiend as she found the undead that she sensed, but she did not find the Celestial or Fiend and is still very suspicious. The only thing you pick up as you are traveling in are the items, certain items that maybe your group is carrying. That you are mm -hmm. already aware of. Um, gotcha. Uh, there is still the whatever around uh, Bubo that you pick up. So, yeah. not quite sure what that is. Um, but really, primarily quiet on that front. Now, granted, <laughs> you know, you've got a 60 foot sphere <laughs> around your area. So, you yeah. weren't that close to land or anything either. Yeah. Oh, question. Um, Prime. Just out of curiosity, has Nyctos made it to the city yet? I have not been here. I have been with you. So, but around the, that time, it should be around the time that... He was not here back. when we left. Hmm. All right. But you and never know what the gods made, have in mind. And he was going to be made an acting head of council. Well, an acting council member. I don't know that he would be replacing... The head of the council. I'm not sure she would go for that. Oh, right. Sorry. I forgot about the other. Um, okay. It, it happens. Case, many, many people forget the female leaders and only focus on the male leaders. We try. <laughs> <laughs> Ariana nods. Don't you dare? 
make my character one of those people. <laughs> I would I would request if I get one retcon the entire session or the entire campaign, that is the retcon that I would want. I did not forget her. <laughs> <laughs> Tully so uses his I know a guy to show his membership that is, in yeah, like the I, feminist that's, society. That's, <laughs> I know a gal. She's at the head. <laughs> I got binders full of them. <laughs> oh, heavens. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I think I'm still a little in the mode from last night's session. So. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, look, there's a girl oh, with me here. There's a girl with me here. I can't yeah, be this sexist. Is, this I have girlfriends. Just... I can't. Oh, wait, that's not what I meant. Ham is just full of sass today. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You are I'm a here. spicy right. DM. I'm here for it. Oh, oh. So here for it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I swear, if we go, we go rent out a wagon and the wagon's a mimic, I'm going to be so mad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, but you have ideas. given me an idea. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, that's okay. It's fine. Furiously <laughs> scribbles. Jeez. Um, Vara, if... Vara's gonna look to Prime, um, just real quick, and and um, do you are you still considering not continuing uh, our journey with us? At that. Uh... You know, Tikros is kind of going to eye up a little bit too. She was kind of li- passing by on the whole taking the baby thing, focusing. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not sure. I think it depends greatly on what instructions may have been left for me. I was told to come back to Melitus, which I have done. All right. Well, as we've said, you are a valued member of our team, not a servant, a member. Yes, I, I definitely think your presence would impact whether or not we feel comfortable traveling long term with the baby. Obviously, if there are parents, it would be safer to bring the parents here than bring the baby to them. Most likely, yes. if, we, if we don't have the the manpower to make sure at least one person is watching the child at all times. Yeah. Hopefully, maybe we can find some information about where the child comes from. Agreed. And then, and then. Yes. Cool. All right. Um, to Elitus's house. Oh, mm-hmm. Tolly, did you still have something you wanted to say? No. Okay. I just wanted to mention that once we get back and we're going to head to the council, I don't think we need you for that. I'd probably just head over and try to acquire more supplies. Oh, sure. And whatnot. To get of course. Set up. So are you accompanying to the house or are you splitting off now? I'll I'll, I'll go to the house first. Okay. When... Okay. Just trying to make sure I followed that clearly. Uh which entrance are you going to use to the house? You know there's a side entrance which you have used to go out and party late at night, and there is the main entrance. I think we should go in the main door. I yeah. I don't think we need to come in like thieves. Yeah, we're not sneaky. We're all we're also with Prime, so. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, who's opening the door? Are you letting Prime go first, or are you guys going in? Sure. It's, it's up I to think you we'll let Prime go in. first. Yeah. Prime. Okay, well, Prime will open the door. <laughs> Prime will prime the door and open it for you, and allow you know, have everybody walk in. And once you get in, you'll hear some footsteps coming, and someone comes around the corner and goes, um, "Excuse me, who are you? Prime?" And the man rushes forward and actually embraces Prime in a hug. I've missed you, son. Good to see you back. Um, yes, um, father. (laughs) And who are your, who are your, who are your friends, your companions here? And why are you carrying... A young child? Who are you people? Um, we're investigators for Elitus. Oh, oh, he had mentioned that there was a new group. I, I, I'm, I didn't know you were coming back with them. I thought you were heading back with Elitus. Where is he? Um, I believe they are still in Akros. 
Well, it's it's good to have you home, son. Come come in. You must tell me all about your trip. And he walks off with Prime. Uh, oh, uh, apologies. Uh, make yourselves at home. Um, uh, we can have food prepared for you if you like. Thank thank you. Have any of us met this guy? No. Okay. Uh, at this point, I'm just gonna whoever is the closest to me, the the two people that are closest to me, I'll just tap them on their backs and I'm just like. I'm not needed here. I'll go get the supplies in the wagon. Right. And oh, all right, are you? Off. I'm gonna like kind of let the other two let the girls go in, and then just kind of push the door closed behind me. And as Tully's walking, I'll just put put a hand on his shoulder. Are you all right, Ptolemaeus? Perfectly fine. Give him a squeeze. Remember what you said to me, and then walk back in the house. So, um. If you guys gonna make your way into the the kitchen, I guess the food area. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, when you arrive, the man is is with Prime, and he is actually making food for everyone and making tea, and he appears to be making a cup for Prime as well. Hmm. And it's so I'm, good to have you back. And uh, oh, I I apologize. Um, hi, I am Nyctos. Uh, I'm a new counselor. And oh. <laughs> Uh, and I, I know you've met my you. you've met my you've met my son Prime, of course. Yes, he's been wonderful. So I'm gonna look to Prime and try to kind of do like an insight, maybe on how he's feeling about Nictos being here. Like, is this a good thing for him? Is this a <laughs> weird thing for him? Okay, go ahead and awkwardness check. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. I'd like to roll for awkward. <laughs> yeah. Five check, yeah. Cool insight. Oh, that's a seven. <laughs> he um, is an anvil rod, be, so who knows? Being that he's rather uh, steel-faced, it's a little uh-huh. hard to tell his emotions. He does not blush well. Sure. Um, so, uh, but he he always is a bit standoffish, you know, and just kind of very proper. You've only seen him in another pose when he was getting angry with and working with Agrios to learn how to fight. So yes. he just looks his usual, you his know, usual Jeeves. Self. Jeeves style. Sure. <laughs> he's not like, well, I guess the only other time I've seen him really upset was like the power off. He's not like eyes flickering or anything like that. Okay. No, cool. he is not. Cool. He, Great. You can see as he keeps putting his hands forward as like he's wanting to, you know, do the things like make the tea and stuff. <laughs> yeah. The fact that someone else is doing it is weird. Yeah. yeah. I figured. Okay, cool. Um, Where, where'd oh, your cool. young friend go? The, the one with the interesting hair. Thank you. Yes. Um, just wondering. He had some things to do in town. He'll be back yeah. soon. That's a shame. Yes, we we just got back from a relatively long voyage. We uh, came by boat on the dolphin from um, oh geez, where were we? Data is where we left on the dolphin. We came all the yeah. way from Macros. So uh, I, supply I stocking. And, I heard yes. a rumor that the river had begun to flow backwards. It did. We've we've Amazing. partially dealt with that. Still, still investigating it. Unfortunately, I see. I see. Well, it's very interesting because that's you know that's where Perforus's forge is at the the head of that river. And so, was the water warm or cold? Because it was normally warm coming down. I'm just curious. It was, it was very cold. Yes, it was colder. Hmm. Colder and salt very water odd. seemed to be coming from the bay. Very odd. Well, I, I've been looking at some papers and, oh, oh, Prime, you're going to be so happy. I have stacked an entire grouping of papers for you to file. Excellent. And I'm, it, it, it's just going to be wonderful. But anyway, I've been looking at some things and looking about, I understand that the Colosseum at Akros was destroyed? It was. Indeed. And and the Colossus lost that it was lost as well? as well. Yes. Goodness, goodness. Perforus will be quite angry about that. That was a major working of his, you know. Yes, we we had even considered um, turning and going upriver to investigate. It was a hard decision. Do we go to the source of where the river has switched, or do we go to where the river is headed? Um, we ended up deciding to go down here for multiple reasons. We just had other things calling us in this direction, but I imagine we may potentially 
head up back there. If I had my way, I would be doing that, but now I'm not going to be allowed to travel as much, it appears. We will oh, from be being on the council? Here. <laughs> yes, uh, apparently sure. there are. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I assume you've heard of what happened to Neil Anton as well with the uh, Temple of Heliod. And... Ah, yes. yes. We were... We were present. You frightened me for a moment there. I was like, something else happened to Neil Anton? Can they not yes. catch a break? Goodness. Yes, it's it's been there has been tragedy in in all sorts of places. And unfortunately, we've found ourselves near most of it. Oh, truly. You must tell me about this. And he sits down with his cup of tea. So it is up to you if you're going to spend, I'm not going to make you run through everything, but if you're going to spend time talking to him about everything that happened. He will sit there for hours with you. Sure. Going over these things. I, Vara would. Um, almost like captain's log debriefing after a trip. <laughs> like, you know, just very, I, I don't think she'd be, once again, she like knows that she has said some stuff to council people that she wasn't supposed to say in the past. Um, <laughs> so she will be a little bit more mindful of that, but very almost wrote just kind of like when we were in, when we were in Akros, this occurred, and you know, just kind of a bullet list of okay. days, occurrences. Um, obviously, leaving out like little tiny things, like the or, tiny, like I won't necessarily talk about the lobster or you know, running into my old friend Xenon or anything like that, but the major tragedies that we've experienced and, and how we've helped. Excellent. I, I also heard, and 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 pardon me, I, I if I make a mistake, I'm sorry, but are you not the one who? Who who fought with Mogus and he points at Adrastus. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, oh well, it must have. I didn't know there were that many Leon and and. The Rumor has a way of twisting the truth. I was intended to fight an avatar of Mogus, but unfortunately, I was thwarted by Irawas himself. I feel like Ariana has. <laughs> Ariana has like dad fallen asleep through this whole story and is just kind of like this. Yeah. But but at that mention, she kind of chuckles and then looks a little sad, but then stays asleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I was intended to fight the avatar that I now understand as the avatar of Mogus in the final round of the games. But those did not happen because. Mogus possessed the Avatar, and then the Colossus came to life. Erewas and Mogus fought, and they were dragged into somewhere by Crufix. Or what I can only imagine is Crufix. Hmm. So no, let me put that rumor to rest. I did not fight with Mogus, though not for lack of desire. Well, I'll see if we can get that correct in the records, because at this point, everything <laughs> shows that, that that fight did occur. Uh, apologies for the misunderstanding. Although, no on the other necessary. hand, that, I just refuse uh, to take glory that does not get, belong to me. You could probably get a lot of free meals and, and free, free alcohol if you just uh, nod your head and go with it. But... If I were anyone other than myself, perhaps. No, I respect that. That's amazing. There, there are very few people worthy of that respect anymore. They will take whatever glory comes their way, whether they've earned it or not. Believe me, I know. So I'm going to ask Ptolemaeus, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I would actually like to uh, get supplies and uh, kind of commission a wagon of some sort uh, with the, with the funds that I'd be allowed, like the party funds that we we potentially might have, party uh, funds, party funds. But at the same time, I would like to uh, buy a little bit of extra wine with my own funds. Okay, very good. Uh, yeah, I'll and then whenever whenever I'm done, I'll just have everything out around like the stable area and and everything, mm -hmm. and kind of set everything what, up. What what kind of wagon are you looking for? Um, something similar to when we, uh, when we were carrying the the Sphinx. Okay, so yeah, kind of like around that size. Uh, kind of a fifteen twenty foot long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, multi uh, two sets of wheels covered. 
wagon yep. so and probably a couple of horses to draw it i would assume exactly mm -hmm. okay cool. and then i'll yeah i'll just set set that up and then uh once um once i have all the supplies i'll just kind of put everything together and looking at elitus's house for a little bit i'll just sit in the wagon for a while and drink some wine all right justice um, after the conversation with, um, Nyctos about, you know, did you fight Mogus? I think Adrasus is kind of getting sick of hearing that. Um, <laughs> so after that, he's going to finish his tea, which I imagine looks hilarious with the giant hands, little itty bitty cup. Um, <laughs> he's going to finish it's, his yeah, tea. Yeah, it's a Dimitas, you know. <laughs> and, the um, smallest cup possible. <laughs> <laughs> excuse himself politely. Um, so he would probably come out to see Tully just sitting in the wagon. You, uh... You won't be joining us then, Olivaeus. It's just... It's just food. Probably some tea. I guess he was probably boiling tea and... Prime probably had a cup too. Yes. Yeah, I'm. I'm fine. I'm not a big fan of tea. I'll just stay outside. And get everything ready. See, <clears throat> um, the wagon. It's it's big enough. I, I assume. I don't think we need to change anything from our first job together. Adrasus is going to smile. Then he's just going to kind of plop on the wagon next to Ptolemaeus. I have extra drink, and I'll just put uh, a small little bottle of wine yeah. in, in front of him as well. After a couple of steps, he's going to say, you don't have to tell me what's going on, but don't do me the disservice of telling me there's nothing wrong. You can tell me when you're ready, but until then, if you don't mind, I'll sit here with you. You're not gonna win that argument. <laughs> and he, he, I'll, I'll take a drink and I'll just be like, I mean, nothing is wrong. He's happy in there. All right. Takes a drink. Yeah. And we're going to be off on another grand adventure. All of us. That we are. Well, most of us. You, you know, the last few days, you, you guys still haven't mentioned anything about the child. I, you, I feel like every single time I'm missing something, I'll just fall asleep, or and then someone almost dies. I stay on the ship for a little bit and. Bring back a baby. A I feel like you have, perhaps you're just lucid dreaming. You might be a god, Ptolemaeus. You're <laughs> lucid dreaming reality into existence every time you fall asleep. I really don't like dreaming that <laughs> many catastrophes every once in a while. I'm going to have to consult something if, if that happens anymore. You are, but I'm not, I'm not sure if we told Ptolemaeus this, so I will uh, Adrasus is going to kind of reach into his, like, reach down to his belt and pull up a, the, the red sash. The baby had this bundled in with it. So it looks kind of like yours. It's because it used to be. I gave this to... A dear friend, long ago. I thought its owner lost with the rest of my clan. Perhaps not. The child bears hope. As children often do. Don't be gone too long. I can't be. 
what would you do without me? And he just pat slaps him on the back and goes back to drinking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, no, Ariana could do the same thing, honestly. Um, <laughs> but I was actually just going to say Agrios would miss you a lot, but... I'll miss you too, brother. <laughs> I've grown rather fond of our little family. Obviously, I inducted you into my clan. I think you may be the first non-Leonan to be inducted into a Leonan clan since our founding. That's, that makes me very, very happy and honored. Well, it is an honor to have you in my clan, Ptolemaeus. And I think mm -hmm. that if anyone has made you feel dishonored by their relation to you, then it is their loss, not yours. Nobody ever does. It's fine. I prefer to be the way I am. I really do. A little fearful of how I am to all of you all the time, but... I'll keep myself safe. It's All funny. Right I'll I'll take a <laughs> drink at this time. I'll just it's funny, but you ever wonder what people think of you after you die? And I'll just go back to the same conversation once again, uh when I had with Vara. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. I hope that I've left a positive mark on the world, but we are Leona of Oreskos. When we die, our memory is maintained by our tribe. We, the ancestors guide the younger and so forth. So Though you are inducted into my clan, unfortunately, you do not know the rituals. So when I die, and he kind of like, for the first time, he actually looks afraid. He says, when I die, I will simply cease to be. And what people think of me will not matter to me any longer. It should. Because it doesn't... It's not the end, in that sense. You still have your memory, right? You still... There's still the memory of your achievements, of all the great, grand things you've done. And that's enough. I thought of that. As... As you travel across the river. As you know, I'm hoping through my association with you and Vara and the others, perhaps though I've never given much thought or respect to the gods, perhaps Athreos will look kindly on me and allow me to check on those of you who survived my death after I'm gone. Just because you jump into the fight, the fray and whatnot, doesn't mean you're going to die first. Well, no, but... We don't know that. You are my family, and I assume some of you will have families, and... Family doesn't stop at the single generation. That is true. Anyway! <clears throat> it just takes a huge drink of wine. <laughs> Heard Adrastus is off awkward cough. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm. <laughs> I think Vara and uh, or at, at least has just been kind of. She will ramble as long, kind of like you said, um, with uh, Nictos being willing to just listen and chat all day. Vara is the same way, so she'll she'll ramble as long as Ariana. I, I guess Ariana's probably still snoozing. Um, <laughs> But I think at this point in my rambling, I've probably caught on to the fact that Adrastus went outside and is talking because 
even if he's trying to be quiet he just has a booming voice it's kind of, exactly. kind of, kind of hard he does. So kind of, I, I think for a moment i'll like kind of poke ariana on the shoulder um i'm uh i'm going to go outside for a moment um just to let you know in case uh you wanted to have some conversation i feel like i've been uh talking far more than I need to, as usual. Um, and <laughs> Vara, will, Vara will go ahead and get up. Um, and there is some food, right? It was mostly tea, but oh, there yeah, was there's, like a there's food there as well. Too. Yeah. I'll, I'll go ahead and make a plate and I'll head outside. Um, and I will put it on Tali's lap and then walk back inside. <laughs> so Ariana, now that you're awake uh, and you, you look around, you realize it's only Niktos, you, Tikaros, and the baby in the room. So sometime during the, the, the talking and everything, Prime has slipped out as well. Oh. So Niktos is going to look over at you and go, so what have your adventures been? Oh, well, uh, I mean, the most recent ones, very much similar. Uh, but uh, before that, I've done possibly more travel. Well, no, not more traveling than most of these folks. Usually I keep company of people that I've traveled with more, but uh, these are very well-traveled folks, which is kind of surprising, but very exciting. Uh, I'm a, a speaker by trade uh, and a trainer. So I've been with Adrastos those last few years. He's an incredible athlete. So I've kind of hitched my wagon to him, so to speak. I hear you're the philosopher. <laughs> oh well, honestly, uh, I've studied a lot. Uh, my son, my I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I I had a child. Unfortunately, he he perished at a a young age. He was he was he was the one who he drove me in my philosophy because he was so intelligent so bright he he learned so fast that i had to learn uh i had to pick up skills to stay ahead of him he's a very 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 good thinker uh, but, well, and you I'm might have sorry guessed for your that, loss well you might have guessed that prime is not my my natural son of course um but well family does not always need be blood well, that is true. That's true. Well, after after my son's passing, um, I traveled a bit, and I, uh, well, I, I became an apprentice at the the Temple of Perforos, and uh, went back to my original trade skills. And, uh, as in fact, um, a rule, and he'll put his hand up, and as soon as he says a rule, Ubo flies over onto his hand. Oh, so that's your name. Uh, yes. Uh, well, his original name. It's. It, I know it's kind of lame to name an owl owl, but you know it just. Uh, it was a good name, and he's. He was one of the first projects I worked on, and and. Dracios funded some of my training at that point, so I, I brought him as a gift, and. Uh, one day, I... I'm sorry? He's miraculous workmanship. Oh, well, I, I can't claim, claim all of it. Uh, he was a repair, much like Prime. Um, I was learning at the time, and there's still a few flaws in there. But, uh... Oh, you don't have to know his, uh, his preference for people, do you? Have you ever known him to not be interested in people? Mm, no. That's interesting. A rule? What's going A rule? Has he not spoken to you? He has not. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Well, I suppose at some point I'll, I'll have to take him apart. And with that, a rule's wings kind of flap a little bit. <laughs> and uh, see what's going on. Uh, yes, uh, he is perfectly capable of speech. Or has been, unless I broke something. But... Well, he has been doing quite a bit of traveling, perhaps some wear and tear. Hmm, could be. 
Okay. Yeah, there, there are there are two of our companions on Tikaros here, as well as uh, Ptolemaeus. They, he doesn't seem to like them much. Hmm. Interesting. And he will pick him up, and he'll he'll like put him over towards you, and then he'll go and stick him over towards Tikaros. <laughs> very scientific. <laughs> At which he will actually move up his arm a little bit and go. That's very interesting. Um. Is there anything special about? these two that you're aware of and he's sitting here slow you know just stroking his talons on his arm anything you're aware of um they've only talked to each other about their similarities correct okay yeah um no they're both very celestial not in the celestial sense but in the celestial sky sort of sense um, hmm. But that might be it. Just be an aesthetic. Does he not like stars? Well, perhaps then he wouldn't like Vara either. Hmm. It, and it's he has just no, very rare. Sorry, he has no issue with the with the Leonin. No, oh, yeah. he didn't. Right? He no, he no. was fine with them. Yeah. Uh, Chris, Krista couldn't remember. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, uh, perfectly fine. Um, even. Even Agrios, our uh, oracle of Mogus, he had no problem with. Huh. Huh. I'm not sure, but uh, I'll, uh, while I'm trying to find out what happened to his voice, I'll dig into his head a little bit, at which point <laughs> Earl is very unhappy for a moment. It's okay, don't worry. I, obviously, I won't hurt you. Have I ever hurt you before? And he will turn his head and look over at you and go, <laughs> <laughs> that is not that is not fair a rule and then somewhere oh. a little horn goes <laughs> <laughs> it's actually it's, Agrios's it's... war horn um <laughs> exactly <laughs> this this feels very mm. much like a four-year-old being like you know trying to get their parent in trouble of like no I, this isn't my real dad he kidnapped me he gave me lots of candy though <laughs> this feels very Flintstones, like Bubo just looks out at the audience, it's a living. <laughs> I spin. <laughs> no. uh, well, um, yes. I'll check. Uh, we'll, we'll check on it. How long are you planning to stay? We have a, a bit of an investigation. We're looking for someone that was headed this way. Uh, we may take a brief detour to look for them and then uh, perhaps be back briefly. I see. Um, someone who was uh, following, you're looking for someone? Uh, we encountered the child. Um, we encountered someone who had taken it. Uh, we I obviously, see. so one, we are looking for the babe's parents, um, and two, the an associate of the kidnapper is, we believe, um, a lost person that um, Adrasos is interested in hunting down, and uh, we would like to help him do that. I see. Well, um, obviously, I'm I I don't meddle in Alatus's business, but um, if there's anything I can do, I mean. Obviously, I'm living in his home, and in his absence, uh, I'm, I'm happy to do whatever we can to help. Did you happen to notice where Prime went? Uh, sorry, he was gone when I woke up. Uh, would you like me to go find him? If you wouldn't mind. Um, of course. And uh, I'm going to go check in to care for the, for the baby um, while you're on your mission. Uh, Keep him safe and maybe see what we can do. Uh, do you know if his parents are from around this area or from around here? They said from a small town outside of Melitus. So oh. I That's I had hoped narrow options. I had hoped that within the last um he has clearly been gone for a number of days. Um so oh, sorry, we haven't confirmed the gender. It's clearly been gone for a number of days. Uh, I got a shtick with my shtick. Um, 
Uh, and so I was hoping that by now, perhaps word would have gotten to one of the temples, um, uh, would have had time to come to town, I had hoped. So we were going to begin our investigation here in town and then make our way outward if there's no word. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I recommend uh, there is there's a small uh, embassy of Satessa here. Um, Temple of Afara as well. Uh, maybe they would be good places to start. Absolutely. Thank you for the direction. I'm still yes. not terribly familiar with the town. Well, and he will begin to start pointing out and, you know, giving you sure. directions of how to get to the two different places. Cool. Um, uh, yeah, oh, wonderful. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'll, uh, I'll go see if I can find Prime. Great. Excellent. Thank you. I'll be uh, I'll be back in uh, in my room. I was studying some papers when you arrived. Of course. Um, Ariana will head out. Uh, she'll probably, if there's anything left on the table, grab it to walk as she she goes. <laughs> piece of bacon head out the door. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Piece piece of bacon. Um, and probably stick her head outside. And it everything good. You're not running off on me. To Tali and Adrastos. <laughs> And Vara, because Vara went out there too. Oh, Vara, you're right. I, I technically came back in. I, I would have, I would have on her rejoined. Yeah, I would have rejoined at some point, or either we're running into each other right now. Right. Yeah. Nope, um, just having some wine. I feel like if I were to run off right now, it would be incredibly dangerous. So no, not going to run off. You're right, because okay. I'd chase you. <laughs> walk out and be like wonderful have how many how many empty wine skins are laying on the <laughs> ground in front of the, the wagon at this point <laughs> it is uh it is not that it's uh do you want to count is the question <laughs> uh. oh boy you guys haven't seen Prime out here, have you? Or perhaps two of them? No, zero <laughs> of them, actually. Wonderful. Uh, Vara, would you like to help me find Prime? I, you can see Vara. Vara was, I, I, I think what we'll do is I, I came out, I set a plate down, and I was just going to quietly like leave them alone. But I think maybe Vara was like, oh, this is this is entertaining. She <laughs> loves seeing people drink. Um, yeah. So she's probably like posted up on the wall to where like, because they're drunk, she's just slightly out of the way to where they probably <laughs> forgot she existed. And she's just kind of leaning on the wall of the building, like listening, watching them smiling. And, um, oh, um, no, I haven't. I haven't seen him. No, do you, I would assume he's still in the home, right? I would assume so as well, but uh, I, I always know... prefer to ask before going hunting. Nick just mentions that he had papers for him to file perhaps he's he's already working on that trying to see if um it's still something he enjoys this is why i ask thank you i will go take a look and ariana will walk in and then stop and turn around and go what room would that have been in um oh most the likely office all the, the office yeah. yeah 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 there's the that big room with all, with all the tables and papers and stuff in right. it yeah. that's where one would put the papers thank you thank you Tali. Enjoy your drinks. Oh, I'll get some water ready. <laughs> and we'll head off to fight Brian. Good form. Yes. <laughs> Colin Barr will just post back up, <laughs> kind of cross of, her arms. And... Of special note, this is definitely the first time that anyone in the group other than Ariana has ever seen Adrastos drunk because he's been real careful about not yeah. letting it happen. <laughs> and this is the first time that Tolly's ever been drunk ever in this in this entire campaign. Ever Love it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, no, but, Var's loving it. <laughs> and like just forgetting, forgetting that Var is even there. It's just like Yeah. And he's just like, Var's so nice. <laughs> me about he really and is. I mean, <laughs> I shouldn't I shouldn't be drinking on an empty stomach at all, but no. there's a little bit of food. No, it's um, okay. You'll be okay. I'll I'll carry you inside. I've done it before. You're gonna drop me. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna it's not gonna drop you. I'm just like trying to like put my head on his head. 
you can't even it's that's my thigh uh, uh you, <laughs> you humans are so weirdly shaped why do you have so many hands I have two hands and two legs it is exactly like you i just don't have that fuzzy mane that's you just, no you gotta you gotta uh Gar is going to fire me because I can't see straight. And I can't be a first mate if I can't see straight because I have to have my fingers to tie knots. But I can't tie knots. Oh, you can I'm going to get fired. You can just leave it off. It's okay. Ariana's head's like sticking out the door, like <laughs> looking at Vara and like just desperately trying not to laugh. Vara's like, Vara, and they started talking about her and like how nice she was. And like Adras was talking about that I was going to fire him. And she's just like blushing and losing her mind. And she's like done that thing where she just like kind of slowly has slid down to a seated position. <laughs> and it's just like, <laughs> these good balls. <laughs> Like, should I, t I'll like look over to Ariana and be like, should I, should I, should I just go sit with them? <laughs> Tully, I, I know, I know you think you don't, you don't fight, but you, you fight good, but you don't fight with this. And he tries to poke his arm. You fight with that. And he tries to poke his head. And that's important that you keep us safe when watch we can't the, punch watch, it. What, watch the claw. What, watch the claw. <laughs> I don't have my claws out. This is just, Bean. That's what Ariana calls these little points on my when she calls him beans and keeps poking them. Oh. <laughs> Mara will just start laughing so hard. She's just she's just over there. You'll hear her just suddenly start cackling. Ariana as well has fallen over and is just in the doorway killing herself. <laughs> Plenty the player knows that Adrasus will never live this down and is so happy about it. Oh, <laughs> that's so good. Beans. Beans. Gosh, what are, like, murder mittens is what I hear people murder call mittens. big paws. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know that was like first time Ariana and Adrastos got drunk together, and she's like, <laughs> yeah. <"Beans."> <laughs> wow. Uh, at, at this moment. I'll just kind of like lean to the side of the wagon and just look over at Adrastos and just be like, it's it's okay, right? If everybody's happy, it's it's okay if I just go and keep a secret that might make people sad. Listen, Ptolemaeus, you taught me two two things. It's okay to have a secret, but if that if that secret is hurting you, you gotta let it out. It's like poison. And if the secret turns into poison, it makes you weak. And it made me weak. And it made me punch a boat. <clears throat> so don't punch the boat, Ptolemaeus. Uh, more than you punch the boat. Don't rock the boat, baby. <laughs> Dip the boat over. <laughs> <laughs> but if it is we're happy whether you're not, I can't what I'm trying to say is if you have a secret that might make us sad it might make us sad but if we can help make you happy then that'll make us even happier than we are now because not only will we have helped our friend but then we'll know you trust us with something that we might not like it was a lot of ha I think you added an extra happy in there I I don't word good that's your job I Vara in, in the event that Tully is about to tell the secret Vara is going to go ahead and walk over and sit near them so that way Tolly doesn't tell a secret without knowing that she's listening. She she wouldn't want to eavesdrop. So she's gonna go ahead and sit, like go ahead and join them and just lovely outside. Thought I'd join y'all. Please, 
lean on the horse haunch. Hi. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I'll just be like, <laughs> I was just talking about how nice you were. Oh, um, I, I, <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank, thanks for bringing me here. Yes, and of course. I, and I know you also punched the book. And it's okay. But oh, yes, yeah. I did punch. Well, a, a sh box in the book. Yes. Shh. Nobody else knows. I addre addressed us. No, it's okay. Okay, nobody else but addressed us and I know. Okay. And nobody knows <laughs> that. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. Ar Ariana's gonna uh -huh. cover the cover the horse's ears. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh huh. Pa yes, Polly. Sad. Oh. But now he's happy. So I. He doesn't need to know. Who is? Well, hold on a minute, Talbeus. If this is directly related to what I'm going through right now. He's just, he's out. <laughs> oh, no, no, no! He just violently shakes all of us. No, out, out. Yeah, uh, Var, uh, if, if, if you're kind of sh if you're kind of shaking him, Vara will will put a hand on your shoulder. And... Var, I broke Sully. <laughs> no, I was gonna say Ariana's no, gonna kind of pull Adrastos okay. down. <laughs> <laughs> shh, shh, it's okay. He's so little, I broke him. No, you didn't know. <laughs> like, I <laughs> I think he's just tired. <laughs> you've you've had a fun, emotional time with each other. Um, um I'll go to bed. <laughs> I think we both should you guys both should go to bed. All right, let's All come right. on. <laughs> yeah. Walk a drastos. Do you want me to come back for Tolly? Um, here I can walk a drastos. Um, well, if you could pick if you could pick up tall. Yeah, I cannot carry. Um, <laughs> and she'll she'll go ahead and take. She'll she'll take a dress by the paw, like she'll hold his paw and be like Aww. beans. <laughs> See what I mean? And yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I I get it. I don't. I don't tell you a secret. I don't okay. like it when Ariana calls him that. But but you you can call him that, Captain. It's okay. Okay, you. I'm. We're no longer on a boat. You do not need to call me captain. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> oh, I'll pick Tolly up. I'm going to uh, put a little action on your side for you, Tolly, for a reason here. As you pick Ptolemaeus up, you know his wine bottle falls out of his hand, and you walk away, and all of a sudden, it's like a hand picked up the bottle. And brings it over and places it back into his hand. Oh man! Okay. Oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, stop Secrets happening. are happening! Secrets are happening! <laughs> Secret time! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna kind of one hand grab the wine bottle and set it on the. Um... Yeah, leave it outside. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on the wagon and then kind of start walking away. Alameus, how much how much would you still want your wine bottle? Oh, I'm I'm out. So I, I no. like even if she subconscious up, I'm like, subconsciously, how much would you still want your wine bottle? Oh, it's not finished. Of course, <laughs> it, gotta finish it, it. It immediately you set it down, and it immediately comes back over to his hand. Uh, Bara, can you set him down for a sec? Address um yes, address us. We're going to take a seat real quick. Okay. <laughs> Do some yoga. <laughs> She'll kind of like lower him down and <laughs> you know, just do 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 a pose. <laughs> just kind of walk over to Ari and yes. Um take that wine bottle and walk a few that way. Um okay. I will do that. Okay, now hold it open in your hand. Okay. Snap it again. 
It's there for a couple of minutes, and then it's like something picks it up out of your hand and carries it back over and sets it down in his. Does it seem like it's being magically moved, or does it seem like something is carrying it based on the uh, way that it moves? Why don't you give me an Arcana check, and let's see. Yeah. Uh, That's an 11. You've seen Mage Hand before. Okay. Ptolemaeus, uh, you now have the ability to cast Mage Hand, the cantrip. Oh, you also cool. can cast, you also have some other abilities that I will uh, get to you as your piety to Crufix has increased sufficiently. Nice. <laughs> well done. So what do we what do we think that is? Um that is a new skill that Tali has acquired. I'd assume um much like I've recently acquired some skills of my own, this is um a reward of piety. I mage hand, most likely. Oh, right, I've heard of that. Okay, well I suppose I'll Leave him with his wine bottle if he wishes it that much. He's uh, he's passed out. He won't be drinking it anymore. Yes, <laughs> I don't think yes. it, I don't think he can he can cuddle it like a stuffed animal. <laughs> <laughs> so is is there anything it, so Ptolemy, is everywhere. there anything more Ptolemaeus would want <laughs> now that he has his wine bottle? I guess I should ask. <laughs> I mean, the I'll 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 say it. I think subconsciously, he's enough of he's like put together enough subconsciously that he'll be like, where's the cork? And then just like grab the cork as well. <laughs> Make sure it's closed. The yeah. other hand, uh, that's about it. I love it. <laughs> huh. Well, that'll be nice. Uh, nice to have. Yeah. Uh, to bed with these two? Yes. Adrestos. <laughs> How's Adrestos your yoga? Adrestos is now passed out on the floor. <laughs> oh, child's pose. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and help try to uh, shake him awake again. Just oh, what, make uh, sure he oh. doesn't choke on his own vomit. I'll be right back. I'll do that. <laughs> oh. I'll take Ptolemaeus upstairs. And... Oh, I'm going to bed. Good morning, my dear. Can we at least get to yeah, not the ground? To, I'm going to bed. It's, it's okay. <laughs> No, not here. In a no, bed. No, not here. I, See, going... when you say going to bed, that implies that you'd be in a bed. So we should probably get you to a I... bed. Okay. You are on the ground. Do you know that? Do you know where you are? Vara, <laughs> Vara, the light hurts. I know, my friend. Listen, addresses. I care for you very deeply. I. If if you um no I know come on and he like gets himself up I <laughs> just make sure I don't fall over I yes I can do that <laughs> and do that in spades I've done it before and <laughs> you know she kind of props you up and it's like in a way where it's knowing that she's she has helped many a grown man since she was a child <laughs> get back to the ship from the bar amazing yeah <laughs> yeah I'll I'll. <laughs> <laughs> uh ariana will tuck tolly in and like tuck him in with his wine bottle i'll just be like like yeah oh, it's not this it, big but yeah <laughs> <laughs> a little pat on the head <laughs> close the door you y'all good vara yes i think so um i think we all just uh well, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I think we all have quite a bit of um, quite a bit of damage that we're all dealing with in our own ways. Yeah. Speaking of, uh, perhaps we should go find Prime. Nyctos was looking for him. Oh yes. I don't like that the implication means that Prime is going through something, but I suppose that is a safe assumption. Um, yes. From office... what I've seen, that would make sense. That... To be fair, the sassy attitude is somewhat a welcome change, but uh, I will be perfectly honest, I have never met a sassy person that didn't go through something first. Oh, absolutely. Yes, yeah, sure, the office, I think, is uh, where he'd most likely be. Otherwise, we'll have to go search the town, I suppose. Vara will start making her way there. 
she distinctly remembers where the office is. <laughs> I will follow Vara. <laughs> she, said many, she spent many a time in there. As you enter, you notice there are several scribes around of, of several different races, you know, working on different papers in there. But you see Prime at this one table that has this large stack of papers on it. And where you've seen previously, he very carefully, you know, moves papers and stacks around. You can see where there's papers on the floor around him. And he is busily looking over three different pages in front of him. Oh, um, are we interrupting? Not at all. What was the name of that minotaur that Adrastos had an, and he'll look up, that Adrastos had an issue with? Well, the one he had an issue with. Um, Crassus. Crassus. Excuse me. <laughs> I got it. I got it. See, I have a note. It's Crassus. Crassus. Why did you find something? I found many things. Oh. Apparently, I see an, a record of originally where... He, but he said that Crassus was fighting in the name of Erebos, correct? I believe so. Yeah. I have found record of a Crassus of Mogus who attacked and was fighting against the returned city of Udonos mm. outside the crypts of the lost. And then there is no record for a time. And then I found another Crassus the Healer. But the name does not match the actions. And apparently this Crassus the Healer has been destroying any returned that he has found. And apparently is marching his way down. Following what I see here, he, he's, he started up in the north and has moved his way down. I see records of Primnos and Hunter's Crossing. Mm. Nearby. And then moving down into the, the Despair Lands. Oh. I also see we had found that location that you were headed, that place of the lost village of Tavi. He's apparently gone past that way as well. Oh. I'm finding records of cities raised and bodies left. The masks of the returned left lying in the field. He is not doing this for fortune. But... Is there, um, is there any indication that he's a follower of Athreus? Uh, I find he, maybe, I don't know. I, he seems to leave just a trail of, of death, but On, he targets. Only the return? Return. Or has he been killing others as well? All I find is the returned. Consistently, the returned. Um, but I think, I think I know where he is. I think that'd be someone worth following. I. It's possible. Um, followers of Athreus. I mean, I, for piety's sake, technically I should be doing this as well. But any returned are to be slain. It is. It is part of our duty to our God. They, are, are here. Under false pretense. I. I'm not sure the best phrase for it, but um, they were not meant to return. They shouldn't have been able to return. Um, and as per piety to the god of Athreus, and they are meant to be returned again in the opposite direction. <laughs> so, what about, but what about the Minotaur that you met? Yes, but that's yes. Um, well, um, that is a good question. I, I'm. I'm not as concerned with the returned. I believe that 
well, and she kind of looked at Ariana because she's told Ariana this before, but um, she hasn't mentioned it to Prime. Um, I am, I'm more concerned with the exceptions. I believe it is my divine quest to um, return the eight exceptions to Athreos. So to me, admittedly, the returned are um, not as important. A, 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 something that gets in the way of my quest, if I were to focus on those. There are plenty of other followers that, that take care of that. Um, and, um, well, that Minotaur also was very kind, and I was with a new group of people. And uh, if I were to just slay him mercilessly, I I don't think I'd be as close to these people as I am now. That <laughs> would, would not have uh, been favorable approach. And um, I think Athreus can forgive me for garnering a, a healthy crew um, at, at the behest of letting a nameless get away. Well, from what I have seen, most, most people seem to have uh, that opinion of service to the gods when it's convenient to them. Hmm. Ariana. <clears throat> <laughs> Um, well, uh, I guess I the, suppose, sorry, go ahead, Prime. I, the question is, you have a mission. You've stayed with it fairly directly thus far. Do we tell Adrastos? I personally think Adrastos needs a win in finding his friend, if that's who is here. And perhaps we should not keep secrets from him. So, of course, we should tell him. But perhaps finding Erebos, er, Eremos is more important for him. Yes, I think... Um... I think many of us are in a tender position um, with the baby and, and I mean, you know, and she'll kind of gesture to prime and I mean, you yourself are, are still figuring out your place. And um, I think as, I think as family, like Ariana said, we, we owe it to each other not to keep secrets, but I think we also owe it to each other to protect each other. Um, and I think, Let's handle one thing at a time. We've had a lot thrown at us, so let's. Um, mm -hmm. I, I I feel the tug in many directions of where we need to go. So I think we really just need to hone in on one thing and then take the next step as we can. If that makes sense to you, Prime. It's it your information makes... you found. So if 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 you feel a duty to tell Adrastos, I. I will not stop you from that. I suppose on the one hand, I take my guidance from how to deal with others as a new member of the family from you. So, um, I will, and he start. he kind of shuffles the paper stuff together. I will tell Adrastos of this. Okay. Uh, Nyctos was looking for you, Prime. Yes, you had you, slipped away. You almost hear a sigh from him. <laughs> uh, are you not happy to be home, Prime? I'm always happy to be where I am and, and to do good for others. I am... I am not sure what it means for me and what I will do. It is, it is, but it is Nyctos who brought me to Aletus and put me in this home and gave me this job. Told me that philosophy and studies and learning to deal with politics and policies was his, his goal for me. 
that I honestly believe that he has placed these on me because of his child he lost. Parents put those expectations on their children. I do not wish to disappoint him. As children I, are with their parents. Yes, I, I will say, um, even though the child he speaks of um, seems like they had a great future in philosophy or different things like that, I am. Um, it, there's no telling that that person when, would have gone on to do that either. So everyone changes paths. I'm I'm not the the child that I was. I've. And I also like to think that um, I can be someone on journeys and adventures and still study and and be philosophical. I, I think we've had our fair share of that still. So yeah. I, I think, think it would weigh less less on his mind had they ever found the body. Sure. I'd imagine so. Closure is terribly important in loss. Well, it's, it's not, I know you probably feel a responsibility as he has put a responsibility on you to, to help him find that closure as Ariana mentioned, but if he cares about you, which I believe he does, then he'll support. And if for some reason he doesn't, whether you want to stay here or continue with us, then know that we support you. And obviously we can't necessarily replace who repaired you and you can think of as a father, but um, like you said, we're your family and we outnumber him. <laughs> Marvel kind of. <laughs> yeah. I, I would recommend you get some rest for the evening. Um, yes. I assume you will want to depart early tomorrow. I yes. imagine so. So what are you two going to do? I think I'll listen. I'll head to bed. I'll probably, all did right. we, was there, last time we stayed there, there was kind of a common sleeping area that we were all in, right? But you, no, you had rooms in this place. You had, it was right. at the place in Akros that you were kind of in the same. Right, so yeah. Everybody has, has their space. I'll look to um, Ariana and say like, um, I think one of us should pair off with each of the drunkards to make sure that they're they're okay uh yes in case they like you said throw up or something like that and you can tell she does not she like bar doesn't like vomit like she's very like, <laughs> like um, now if we don't think they deserve the hangovers that i think they probably do um i can bring them around Um, Prime, when were you planning on delivering that information to addressers? I can happily do it in the morning. Or I can tell him now. We now should. might be a better choice. <sighs> then he can sleep on it. Um, um, yes, I think, at least for Adrastos, because as far as I can tell, he was drunk off of proxy rather than need. Um, I think Adrastos most certainly. And Tolly may appreciate the hangover, to be honest. He might he might be glad to have an excuse not to to talk to anyone tomorrow. <laughs> Fantastic. Um yeah, Ari will go up and uh and go to Adrastos's room and uh just give that that mom uh forehead warm test and uh use five lay on hands to remove disease uh and poison <laughs> so you are no longer drunk uh adrasos might still be asleep because you you were passed out so it doesn't necessarily wake you up okay well, i'm going to i'm going to pull on all the other characters and give you a nice little feels moment here from sleep so as you do the mom hand on his forehead mm -hmm. he just kind of grumbles and then he says no mother please the test isn't until tomorrow let me sleep i'll wake aramaz when it's time 
she's gonna look back at did Pri- I'm assuming Prime and Vara came because they were gonna talk to him. Vara's gonna Vara's gonna pair off to Tali's room and and go and keep an eye on him. Okay. Um I think it's a lot of she'll kind of she'll kind of say like that's a lot of information for addresses to process. So I'll I'll leave it between you all. I know I know he's in good hands with you and and uh she'll kind of put a shoulder on Ariana and I care a lot about Adrastos and um, I trust you. It is nice to have another person who's gotten to know him enough to care that much. He doesn't let people do it often. And I am very glad that he let you. Me too. All right, I'll go make sure Tali isn't, uh, I don't know being gross <laughs> she's, just like, she's just like avoiding the thought and just like, she'll kind of slip into the room and 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 just kind of i don't know if there's like a chair or something she'll fall asleep on the chair and Absolutely. i with the this kind of going through the whole proxy thing and how clean uh clean probably wants to to be can there just be like on the floor, like a pi- a puddle of like throw up, but then there's uh, a rag that's like uh, wiping it already. Uh, <laughs> it's just like a mage hand, like kind of wiping. It's continually cleaning. It <laughs> and I was just oh like kind of holding the And it's just kind of. That's it's so totally good. Like there. I'm just wiping <laughs> as well. Yeah, Var will walk in, see that, and go. <laughs> like, 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 a, like sympathy like oh, oh no <laughs> and then kind of like kind of like almost talk to them like look at the mage hand and be like please tell me you've got this because i really i i is this are do you do you have this <laughs> and if it seems like it's going to be able to do a proper job cleaning on its own then she will leave it to the mage hand <laughs> just bring in a bucket <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm afraid it's know. I'm afraid it's like a like it's gonna be like a drunken mage hand, like a Roomba that yeah, and it goes uh, through the dog mess yeah. and <laughs> smears Vara, it all across everything. Vara will clean it up. <laughs> that or like the uh sorcerer's apprentice. Oh, yeah, he keeps he keeps waking yeah. up like cleaning supplies. <laughs> Good the next time there's like a bucket there, it's like <laughs> sloshing <laughs> water everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, she'll she'll get like a bucket of water and use like shape water to where she does not even be get like almost like pick up the puddle with the water and kind of put it in the bucket Ew. and take it Ew. out. Small <laughs> like, bending. Yeah, basically like v- I, vomit nope. bending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a puke bender. Oh, so gross! Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> The bar will Ugh, take shit. take that out. She will probably throw up herself, <laughs> and, then <she'll, laughs> and then she'll come back and she'll check on you and make sure there isn't like, like your face is clean and and kind of put you on your side, and dote on you. <laughs> so is Adrastos uh, alone in his room now, resting? I, I think Ariana I was- feel. I think if uh, she'll give Adrastos the thing, if and if he's asleep, if they're if they're double beds, she's probably gonna again do that kind of dad thing where she'll like sit against the back of the bed, like just to make mm-hmm. sure in case anything happens, and just sort of like fall asleep next to him. Mm-hmm. But they've they've traveled long enough. They're they're buds that have shared beds before, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. So uh, Prime is going to come in. And he's going to look and he's going to kind of walk over to Ariana and do the, you know, sleep check, you know, pick your hand up and see if it falls, you know, (laughs) see how asleep you are. Yeah. And then he's going to walk over and kneel down by the side of the bed of Adrastos. And he's going to put his hand lightly on Adrastos. Adrastos, you're not drunk anymore, but are you Mm -hmm. still in and out of sleep? Hazy, I guess. I think so. Yeah. You know what? Do me a favor, roll a perception check. <laughs> oh, but I'm bad at those, damn. Good. And I shouldn't be because. <laughs> may may I do one as well, just to? Yes. I'm not gonna wake up, but or not then like... do it at di- do it at disadvantage since you're uh, totally not gonna wake up. Uh, okay, thirteen. Okay. Ooh, uh, sixteen plus two, I think eighteen. 
Oh, well, you out you outdid me. I rolled a sixteen, so uh, <laughs> she how... she won't she will let her arm drop, and that'll kind of wake her up enough to realize he's in there, but she'll be asleep. Okay. He walks over, kneels down next to Adrastos, puts a hand on his shoulder, leans over, and does an almost perfect. I would say to Adrastos, it's perfect. To Ariana, she knows it's not. Imitation of Ariana's voice. And he's going to say, Prime has found where Crassus is. But it's a long journey, and he recommends you don't con approach it right now. You should focus on finding the home of the child. And then he's going to look back over at Ariana to see if she's awake. And then stand yeah. up and walk out of the room quietly. Interesting. I feel like that <laughs> Crassus is my trigger. So I feel like that's the word that like I don't think he can sleep if he hears that uh -huh. at all. So it's he's going to us. wake up and he's <laughs> realize he doesn't have a hangover. See Ariana realize what's happened. Yeah. And because of the role, I'm going to say you wake up after Prime leaves the room. So yeah. it takes a moment for it to process in mm -hmm. your head. Yeah. Okay. Ariana, what, what do you mean? What what has Prime found? Ariana, and he's just going to kind of like, because he thinks she's sleeping. Yeah. Because he's <clears throat> Uh Pardon? You just said Prime found something, or it, you may not have just said it. I just heard it. Something about Crassus. She's kind of glaring a little bit at the door, being like, you punk. Uh, but we'll, we'll turn back and um, turn to Adrastos. Good guests. <sighs> Prime believes he has tracked Crassus' movement. But... We need to find the child's parents first. And you have your own quest before this. And would it not be better to f discover the fate of Aramaz before going for Crassus? It, it is He's going journey. to kind of look in the direction of the room that Agrios would have been staying in. Yeah. And he is going to say, temperance has brought me nothing but pain. I will return it on this minotaur. I'm sorry, Ariana, but I must follow this lead. And I it must is. do it alone. Where is Vara? She is taking care of Tolly. He doesn't say another word. He stands up, turns, and walks out. You just see Ariana and she's <laughs> sitting on the end of the bed or her hands between her knees just going. <laughs> so um, Adrastos will go to Tully's room and see Vara puke bending and just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I would like the puke bending to be done so we're not yes. having this okay. conversation. <laughs> yeah, she, she's, yeah. Uh, she's falling asleep over on the chair. Um. He thinks for a minute about leaving a note and then walks into the room and very gently, Laura. Oh, uh, yes, yes. And you can tell, like, she, she's still a little pale from throwing up. She's like, yes. <laughs> um, so were you yes. with Ariana and Prime when he learned about Crassus? Oh, um, yes. I was. Good. I wanted them to deliver that information without me. I know that's... Then that saves me time. Oh. Okay. I was going to... I was going to just leave a note, but you mean a great deal more to me than that. Mm. And I thought you deserved to hear it from me. I have followed 
your orders as captain and the direction of this group for a very long time. And even Aramaz, I only pursued because it was in the direction of where we were going to Tavi. But this man, this creature, took everything from me. I have to find him, and if possible, I have to send him across the river. He sent so many of my ancestors across. I wanted to wait. I wanted to find Aramaz. I wanted to see this child home, but... Vara, I can't. Vara is quietly going to reach into um, a little pouch that she has on her belt and pull out one of the reviving coins and place it in a Drastos's palm. He's going to close his palm around it and take her hand in both of his. Just come home. Keep them safe, Laura. And then he's going to put his paw on the back of her head and he's going to kiss her on the forehead and he's going to walk out of the room. Just come home. Show a peep. Uh, he's going to smile over her shoulder as you order, Captain. And then walk out. <laughs> cool. <laughs> and then she'll sit and go back to sleep. Well, she won't. She'll sit and she'll think for a very long time and eventually fall asleep. Okay. And Adrastos will gather his things, kind of squeeze the coin, put it in his pocket next to the telescope, and make his way out. Which door are you going to go out? The On side, the side As you exit the side door, Prime is standing outside waiting for you. Oh. And he is going to uh, hand you a map. Keep them safe, Prime. He rolls up the map. I will do what I can. <laughs> Drassus kind of I steals himself. <laughs> what a good Prime answer. No promises. <laughs> Listen, I know who I am. <laughs> Drassus kind of steals himself, and then he shakes his mane, and he's going to take off at a little bit of like a light jog. Hmm? Very, you know, Hoppolite going to war style. And that is where we're going to end our session tonight. It's a little bit of a short one because we've got some other things going on this evening. But thank you, everyone, for joining us. Thank you, players.